Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to give you one simple hack that will 10x your LinkedIn views. And this actually came from a, a friend of ours, mutual friend of ours. His name is Jeremy Ellens, runs a company called Lead Quizzes. And here's what you can do. So Neil and I are both posting videos to LinkedIn right now. We know we've discussed that the organic reach on LinkedIn is very strong right now after the Microsoft acquisition. So what you can do is... So what Jeremy actually did was he posted a video, um, one of the interviews that he did, and he tagged certain influencers on LinkedIn that happened to have a large follower account. And Neil, you said that he basically tagged he tagged Mark Cuban, and Mark Cuban was an investor in that company, and he I, shared I it. I think I recently got hit up, and someone says, hey, can you comment on this post? Mark Cuban recently ended up tweeting out this podcast, and it'll get your podcast extra views as well. Um, I don't know who that person was, but they shot me an email. I went on LinkedIn. They had tons of paragraphs. It was too hard to read. So I emailed back saying, no one's going to read your LinkedIn posts. Your paragraphs are too large. <laughs> and then I stopped there. I was trying to be nice because then they could break their paragraphs down into like three or four lines instead of like 15 lines per paragraph. But it was a really good strategy. Just tagging other influencers within your posts gets their attention. They're much more likely to comment, but you can't just tag random influencers. There has to be a reason. You have to mention them in the post. Maybe you link to them. And maybe you have their picture in there. Like It has to be relevant. If it's not relevant, I don't see it working out. Yeah, and so what happened was, so I was talking to this guy, I'm like, what was the result? And he said, what, what happened was our downloads on our podcast doubled. And I don't know what his podcast volume is right now. It could be really small, it could be large. But when you have an influencer do that, great. You just got to make sure to Neil's point, it's relevant. You're tagging the right people. Ideally, you're friends with them as well. Um, and then you can even reach out to them. It's like, I have some guys that text me sometimes asking if I can help upvote something on LinkedIn. And, you know, sometimes I see them get hundreds of likes and tons of shares and tons of comments. So look, that's just one way you can go about growing your LinkedIn views, and in this case, also your podcast downloads as well. Neil, anything else? Yeah, so with general with LinkedIn, uh, I learned this from Larry Kim, bro language does really well. So instead of writing complete sentences, not only should you be tagging people, but writing like really quick, like one line synopsis, and you can have many paragraphs that are just one liners. And when he means bro language is like, um, Let's say I have a video on three bold marketing tactics that I've leveraged that have made me millions or whatever, right? My bro language could be like, some marketers love me, some hate me. That could be the first line. The second line, a lot of them hate me because I'm a really aggressive marketer. Third line, but here are three aggressive tactics that made me millions and like just from there include the video. Now, I know it's not that smooth, And it doesn't always flow perfectly, but you guys get the gist. I made that, you know, off the top of my head and it works. Yeah, I think Neil's, what Neil just mentioned, actually that specific example is okay. The thing with the bro language is it's, there's this one guy that started popularizing it and then so many people started to abuse it where I've read recently that people are getting filtered for using just bro language and they aren't getting the reach that they got before. But in Neil's case, I think breaking it out like that where it's just three sentences or so is okay. And then you put the video up there. I think that's fine because it's easy to read. But literally, I've seen bro language posts where it's like, I don't know, 12, 15, 16, 20 lines or so. And that's overdoing it because you see that stuff popping up on Facebook now and everyone's just trying to, you know, overdo this hack. When some people see this marketing hack work, everyone jumps on it and then it becomes almost, I don't know, is the word? No, desecrated. I can't come up with a better word than that. But anyway, go to singlegrain.com slash giveaway to check out our marketing goodies to grow your business. And we'll see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.